Hey, it's like Christmas for a fish keeper. I just uh, got some fish from Dave's Rare Aquarium Fish, davesfish.com. And uh, this was a gift from my kids. They knew I was looking at some fish. They went ahead and picked them up for me. Uh, it's packaged very, very securely, well taped and uh, very secure. They came in exactly as expected, delivered to my doorstep. Let's go ahead and uh, open it up and see what I got. I got three Didiochromis compressiceps and uh, three of the uh, Lichnochromis acuticeps or what we call a Malawi gar. So I've got three of each of these uh, unsexed and hopefully I'm going to get uh, one nice male out of each of those batches. Here's one of the ditties. All of them look alive and well. And I'm going to be uh, floating and putting them in this uh, 30 gallon, 30 gallon um, quarantine tank for a couple weeks, or maybe a little over a week, and then I'll move them over to the uh, 60 gallon grow up. Here's one of the gars. You can't really see much when they're in the bag. Can't really see that unique little snout they have. Very cute. All uh, all six fish are healthy. Three of each. I'm going to go ahead and float them, then I'm going to uh, go ahead and flop and drop them in the tank. Each of the fish was double bagged, uh, clearly marked, and uh, not only tied, but also with a metal, one of these metal fasteners to make sure that the knot wouldn't come loose in transit. I've received fish before and you can see that water had leaked out of the bags, not in this case. In this case, uh, everything was dry and the water stayed where it was supposed to stay and just as importantly the oxygen stayed in the bag which is good uh, they came out they came out uh, immediately poking around pecking around swimming and uh, looking for food hopefully they're not going to eat a little fryer that I have in there that's left over from a prior batch so uh, Everybody's looking good, and sorry about the glare, but I don't want to turn the lights on in the tank. So all we have is the ambient light in this area. This is an outdoor tank. Our temperatures are pretty high out here. Hopefully they will not get too warm. Sickles can tolerate quite a bit of temperature, actually. But if I have to, I'll float an ice bottle, plastic ice bottle, in the tank if I need to. But at any rate, there they are. Uh, thank you, Dave. And thank you to my kids for buying this uh, nice gift for me. For Father's Day and uh, and of course all of you out there will be able to participate and share with me as as they grow up take on some color and I'm sure there's gonna be a couple of very nice males in this batch and here we are the next morning everybody is well they're all active moving around Curious and eating food, which is a uh, definitely a uh, a sign. There you have it, Dave's rare aquarium fish. Let's take a peek at the other tanks uh, here in the sixty uh, Juvie Nation Grow Out Tank. The super red empresses have really exploded. I have uh, two uh, males that are totally colored up, one subdominant male and a, a female. So uh, they're coming along very nicely, as you can see here. They're beautiful. I'll show you a, a, a picture of the two dominant males at the end of this video. But uh, they're coming along very, very nicely. I'm very impressed, very happy with the way they look. Here in the uh, 135, the Bucochromis that I picked up from... Uh, Nicholas uh, Jitsu, Jesu Hernandez, the cichlid junkie, is uh, looking beautiful. This doesn't really do him justice. He's got a little pink and red behind the gills. Uh, goes from blue to green luminescent. Great egg spots. Uh, turning into just a big brood of a fish. I think he's probably pushing uh, six, six inches plus here and uh, really coming on to his own. Also here in the main tank, the 135, I've uh, brought over the uh, polystigma. You can see him here. Seems to be doing okay. Was getting picked on a little bit by the uh, living stoning, as you would expect. 
but uh, has settled in. And you notice his fins, no worse for the wear, so he's not getting beat up. He's actually uh, holding his own, as I expected. I'll probably be bringing over one of the Venusis as well, and probably eventually, as uh, Kevin Green suggested, those red empresses will be coming over here as well. So um, that's the update on the tanks and the new stock. And I appreciate you tuning in. Short and sweet this week. Thank you so much. And that's it for now.